Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going over 2010 Russia Math Olympiad. Um, so triangle ABC has perimeter 4, point X and Y lie on rays AB and AC, as you can see here, point X and Y, such that AX is equal to AY, which is equal to 1, so those distances are equal, so we know that this distance here, AX, is equal to this uh, segment here, so you have an isosceles triangle there. Segments BC and XY, they clearly intersect at this point M, so that I forgot to point it out, so point M here, um, let's call it M, so that intersection point. Prove that the perimeter of either triangle ABM or triangle ACM is actually 2. So knowing that the perimeter of triangle ABC is 4 and we need to um, check for the perimeter of ABM or uh, let me actually first go ahead and draw this uh, AM here um, like that I guess. Okay, so then it is quite plausible that the... Um, it is really ABM which will be 2 here, the perimeter, right? Because ACM would, would, would be too large for that purpose. So therefore, the, the, the statement which is kind of bothering us, this either or case here, it, it is basically telling you that if, um, if angle B is greater than angle C, then, huh, then it must be that the perimeter of triangle uh, ABM is equal to 2. In the other opposite case where the angle C is greater than M angle B, then it really means that the perimeter of triangle ACM is the one which is actually 2. So let me solve this problem for this particular orientation where angle B is larger than angle C. Therefore, I would like to show huh, um, that the perimeter of triangle ABM is actually equal to 2. That's the result that I would like to prove. Because we are concerned about the perimeters, um, the perimeter come, brings to mind the, the notation S. Huh? So little s is in this, in, for this triangle ABC, we know the perimeter is 4, therefore 2S is equal to 4. Or you can say S is equal to 2. I also know uh, occasions where we can use the notation S. It would be related to portions of the, uh, of the edges between the vertices and the touch points of the in-center or the X-center. In this particular case, I will make use of the X center because I need to really have this distance 2. So far, I have a distance of equal to 1. That's not really useful for me. So what I will do, I will go ahead and extend um, this line segment here uh, so that uh, I have my... Um, let me actually go all the way here and I'll do something similar here. Awesome. So I have my X circle. So if that's the point X here, I'm going actually um, an equal distance beyond X. So AX is one. I want to go all the way to, let's call the point U here. Um, so I would say U would be somewhere, let's call it here. So U is such that, uh, so such that AX um, is actually equal to a u here. In a similar way, I will go beyond y to a point v, where huh, so v would be probably somewhere here. That's point v such that a y is equal to. Oh, sorry for that. So that's a typo. A x is equal to x u. So sorry for that. And similarly, AY would be equal to YV here. Okay, so we, I constructed U and V in such a way because I know that the perpendiculars from these two, uh, this point and this point here, will actually give me my, um, my X center I sub A. And I know the point I sub A is along the internal... Uh, angle bisector AI. Huh? So 
Okay, so when I draw this circle here, um, let me let me do it like this, I guess. So it would be something like this. I would have a tangency here, then another one here, and that would that's kind of my uh, x center. So let's say that the touch point is right here. Um, well, it is. Well, okay, something like this. So it's probably at this point. Or let me actually fix my uh, x center. It will be easier because okay, so my x center should be somewhere um, here. I should say okay. There we go. So that's my point i sub a. Uh, it's not very convincing. Okay, good. Um, and that point here, let me call it point T. Recall a u is equal to two. Notice that that's also equal to a v but now um, be observant so we have b u equals b t because of the tangency here with the x circle so you can see that note that b u is equal to b t and in a similar way and uh, c v is equal to c t as well but then this is kind of like a game changer so AU, which is simply equal to AB plus BT, I already know is equal to 2. So 2 is equal to AU, which is equal to AB plus BT here. In a similar way, 2 is equal to AV, but AV is the same as AC plus CT. So therefore, I can reduce the problem here, the perimeter of triangle ABM being equal to 2 equivalently so i claim that the problem reduces to showing that um so show that's an alternative formulation of our problem so show that um a b plus b m plus m a is equal to two well two is simply a u right but now i have this new observation i can replace a u with a b plus b t so I'm replacing it with AB plus um, BT, but then it, it immediately implies those two are canceling out. So therefore, equivalently, what I want to show is that BM plus MA is equal to BT here. But wait a second, BT itself can be split into BM plus MT. So that would further cancel things out. So therefore, the problem can be equivalently stated as m a is equal to m t so that's actually what the problem wants us to compute so therefore the, the problem is asking us to show that this distance here is actually equal to this distance if i can show m a is equal to m t then i'm done okay so why would that be so here at this moment i will introduce a new technique here so I will consider the radical axis of two circles. You can say, well, I can only you can only see one circle right now, which is the x circle here. Um, but then I'm also considering the circle centered at point A, which have a radius zero. So I know this is a kind of surprising result for a lot of you here. So notice that the the circle centered at point a with radius zero and this x circle now what is the radical axis of these two circles obviously um all i do is i draw the tangencies so the tangency of uh, the x circle and this circle here is ua and va and all I do is I locate the midpoints, which I already know are X and Y by construction. Recall that I constructed U such that X would be the midpoint, or you can say AX is equal to XU, and similarly AY is equal to YV. Therefore, the radical axis of these two circles, namely the X circle here, centered at I sub A, and the circle with, uh, with center A and radius 0, the radical axis is XY here. But if that's the radical axis, and knowing that m is on that radical axis, it means that the power of point m with respect to those two circles must be equivalent. 
So therefore, huh, so let me write it uh, slide the page slightly here. So we're almost done actually. So I know that the power of point at M with respect to circle um, centered at I sub A, huh? so consider that circle centered at I sub A, the, the, the power of that point, uh, the power point M with respect to that X circle is simply MT squared. And how about the power of point, the same point M with respect to that circle center, that point A with radius zero, it's simply a M A squared. But I know that those two entities must be equal to each other because I know M is on the radical axis. So that actually proves that after you take the square root of both sides, M T is in fact equal to M A, but that was exactly what we wanted to show. So if M T is in fact equal to M A, then the, the perimeter of triangle A B M A would be simply equal to A B B M plus M T, but B M plus M T is simply B T, B T is equal to B U, therefore A B plus B U, which is simply A U, is equal to 2, and we're done.